Welcome to Best Car Fixes. This is Muhammad Haruni Dries, 2011 Honda Pilot. 2011 Honda Pilot. The battery was disconnected, and the reason for that was because the interior light here are on all the time. He touched this place by mistake. This have three, two places. Here is off, nothing is work. When you put it here, off, nothing is work. When you put it here, it's open, it's work only with the door. Like now, if I open the door, right. you see it's on. Right. When I close it, when I close it, it's gone. When you go down here, it's off completely. Nothing is gonna work. So here, okay. up, it's on all the time. Right. So. Always leave it here. Okay. Leave it here for the door. Right. If you don't need even the door to be open or vacation or it's just like this. Right, right. Or you are inside and you don't want the light come on when you open the door, leave it here right, off right, all the yeah, time yeah, yeah. or on all the time. Middle is by the doors. Okay. And for the fog light, which is the front headlight, it work only with the low beam. Right now you see here? Right. The green here that means the front fog light is working. Okay. If you want it not to work, you're going to turn it off here. This place here. This for the fog light. Okay. And the fog light working only with low beam. For example, right now, if you, if you put... Now the, the headlight is on. You see the line now? It's off. Parking light. Auto light. Auto light means that when you drive and you go into the bridge under the tunnel or okay. no light or in the night, it will come on by wow. itself. This one here, on all the time. Be sure that when you go out... But so I prefer to leave it in auto. Right. It come when when there is time, and not. Also, he said tighten your uh, your uh, your yeah, yeah, your, yeah. your, yeah. your yeah, gas sure. tank. Yeah, or is you see tighten your gas the yeah, fuel cap. Yeah, okay, yeah. if it keep coming, maybe you have to review it with the technician. Yeah. Now, when you put in when you put in a, in in a headlight here, and this one is on, it work only with low beam. So if the blue that means high beam you cannot put high beam and the fog light together yeah. they will not work you can put it but it will not work as soon as you put high beam it releases the relay command or the functionality of the fog light that is on the uh, bumper and this one here is a parking light the small green one here yeah. is a parking light so when you turn it off there is nothing okay i'm turning everything off now we're coming to the radio you have navigation system in this car or only radio system on the radio, it got the thing there, but I don't really, I don't... Okay, let me see the navigation. Really. You see, your navigation also yeah, is, is uh, because you disconnect the battery, the navigation um, uh, code also is gone. So you have to put the radio code, and also you have to put the uh, uh, radio code and navigation code. As usual, I have one video in my YouTube channel that it shows you how you retrieve those codes and get it. Most of the time, you look on, on a book, on, a, on the maintenance book, if you don't get it, don't get go it. all the way here in the corner. You see right, this? Right. These are the radio code. Yeah. So one of them is for the navigation, and one of them is for the yeah. for the for the for the radio. Think, two codes. So the three, one. the three, two, and the the long number is a serial. How to get the serial is very simple. You're gonna push one. For example, for the radio, you're gonna push one and six, and turn the radio off. First, turn the radio off, push one and six, and turn the radio on. You see, I'm going to push my hand here because I'm using the camera. Right. Turn the radio on, you're going to see the, the serial number. 1614098, which is uh, 92, which is the top one. 92, that's the, the radio code, the top one, 14544. Yeah, four. Yeah, yeah. So what you're going to do is, we're going to turn the radio off, and then we're going to write down 1414, Five, four, four. Actually, four, four. Yes, my radio working now. And actually, the C O D E that uh, f five letters, which is corresponding to your radio code. So the radio now is working. You could Perfect. Turn. Now we're gonna go to the navigation system, which is here. I push it on, and now you see there. Uh, navigation also need a code so if the one at the top is the radio yeah, code yeah. the bottom, bottom one is one. navigation code and those serial number you can give it to the dealer and they will give you the the, the code for 3258 3259 is the radio code so how are you gonna put it you're gonna use this now 
You turn left or right, you see here? Turn it left or right, that thing gonna turn, you see? You see, it turn left and right, it turn. Turn left and right, it turn. So what we're gonna do is, now we're gonna look for the first letter, is three. Right. So you go to three, and punch it, enter. enter. You see, enter like right. computer. Enter, this is a mini, key, a mini keyboard. So we put three. If you wanna delete it, you push again to delete it. So right. now what's the number, next number? Next two. Number is two. So I gotta go back to two, also, and enter it so i enter you see they say x-ray x-ray so two is been entered five. then we have five and nine so i'm gonna scroll to five as usual scroll to five that's five i scroll to it click enter and then scroll to nine click enter yes my navigation come on perfect say yes please navigation unit door is open navigation unit door is open or no d, d no disk installed is any door open? No. no door. Yeah. What about the one in the back there? Stores? No, I see one light there on. What it is this? Now it's off. Yeah. Now it's off? No, but you have one you have one light there open. All the way to the back, you see? That one is it's okay. That one yeah, goes there, it have a it have a switch on it. Yeah, check the switch. By the way, those all over in the back, you have a switch. Okay. So now, let me cl close the door, let's see. You turn the other side, because you have two switches. Huh? You turn the right side also, when you push the ferris. You have two switches. Sit in the car, close the door, and go turn the other one off too. Close the door, so yeah, you close it now, wait. Now you see? Yeah, yeah. Good, thank you. So we're good to go now. Wow, cars have a lot of stuff. No, <laughs> I like this one. So that's it for now. Please subscribe, share, and like. And if you have any uh, question, feel free to ask. Also, don't forget to replace your cabin filter on most of those cars. And that's it for today. Thank you. Please subscribe, share, and like. This is Muhammad. I see my clock. I don't this. Okay, you the time the here. Is a, oh, the clock. Yeah, but I don't know where it's that yeah, have to no. be. It's supposed to be somewhere, the clock. Okay, let me see where. The clock. Okay. Okay, let me see. I never did the clock, so. Yeah. Let me see, sir. Let me put this one for longer. No, nothing there. Okay. Nothing here. Rear control, rear source, front source. I never did the clock. What's this source? Maybe sound. Uh. Maybe sound. But I don't know where is uh, the clock have to be. But I will, uh, let me check it out and come. I gotta get some information quick. Hey guys, um, thank you for watching my video. I just did a reset for the, the, the radio and a little bit of job, but for the, for the clock, I don't know. I was trying, some of them, they have clock written here. But in this particular car, I don't know where I can go and, and adjust the time after it's off so please if there is any input give it to us to help but I don't see it I see other cars but this one I don't know where that is please subscribe share and like I'll see you in another video this is Muhammad Harun Idris thank you